Hello students, welcome back to Clary Concepts Unleashing Conceptual Learning. Today in this lecture, we are we will be solving numerical examples of the topic called stability of a floating body. So those of you who have not yet gone through my previous lecture where I discussed about how to determine stability of floating body and what is the numerical formulation or formula for determining the metacentric height, I request you to kindly go through that lecture first and then come back on the, in this lecture. So let us begin. The first example says that a rectangular pontoon is 5 meter long, 3 meter wide and 1.2 meter height. So I have been given one object which is 5 meter long, 3 meter wide and 1.2 meter height. The depth of immersion of the pontoon is 0.8 meter in sea water. So when pontoon is lying on the surface of water, so let's say I have the water, sea water and this is floating on the surface of water. So it's, it is said that the width is 3 meter and the height is 1.2 meter as discussed and from when you look this from the top, the, the length of this is around 5 meters. Now it is said that the depth of immersion is 0.8 meters which means the depth over here is 0.8 meters. If the center of gravity is 0 0.6 meter above the bottom of the pontoon, that means this is the bottom and if CG is over here. So I could say that the distance between the bottom line and G is what 0 0.6 meter, 0 0.6 meter. Determine the metacentric height. This is what they are asking. What do you need to find metacentric height? The density of sea water is 1025 kg per meter cube. So here density is given to you, but many a times when water is said density is not given, then you can assume it to be 1000 kg per meter cube. So density of the fluid, which is sea water is 1025 kg per meter cube. Now what is the question? The question is to figure out the 